Okay, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at our assembly information that you can set in the map software and uh, some of the handy organizational tools that we allow you to use. And so we can start by loading up the map software and go ahead and select the assembly board drop down menu and set assembly information is what we want to go to. And this allows us to keep track of all of the different products that uh, that you produce. And so, um, just for example, if you have a, a computer board that you uh, profile uh, once a week or a couple times a week, uh, we can set the um, dimensions of the computer board uh, in this menu here. And it will allow us to save it and come back to it. Um, for some handy information that we can pull up at a later time. And so right now I just have generic thermal couple information entered uh, for our channels 1 through 6 of our Supermole Gold 2 profiler. And for the assembly information, um, it says to enter a part number for whatever you are uh, measuring or producing as a part of your assembly. Um, However, you can you can enter the name, whatever you call it, is is the best thing um, to have there. Now, I'm going to call this um, motherboard 84 that we will create today, which is just an example of one assembly that we're measuring out of a number of them. And so, um, let's say the length of our motherboard number 84. Uh, 12 inches by 10 inches and we'll leave the thickness the same and really the z-axis this change in thickness is um, for very specific uh, profiling purposes if you for example if you have a uh, thermal couple soldered to the bottom of a board as opposed to the top and you need to denote that um, you might you might play around with uh, the z-axis for the thickness or the depth of the computer board. And it does let you work within different units. Uh, if we're measuring something bigger, um, you know, we, we may use feet. I'm going to leave it in inches for right now. And so our motherboard 84 here has its dimensions entered and it is named. Now, one of the really cool things about the assembly information is that uh, we don't just have to go based off its its dimensions and its name. We can also add to the description by adding in an image file. And so if you take a picture of the motherboard and crop out the areas around it so it's just the motherboard itself, uh, you can save that on the computer and use that in this uh, organizational tool. Use that in this menu here for the assembly image. And so just to show you, uh, we can click the image file button, scroll down through our saved pictures that I have on the computer, and I've saved motherboard 84 here. And so we open that up, and you can see it replaces this field here with an image of the board itself. Now I'm going to enlarge this. I'll click the enlarge button so you can see this better. And what we can do here is grab these little buttons, these little circles that indicate where the thermal couple is placed on the board. And so you can see as I'm dragging this around here, the software dynamically changes its position for its X and Y coordinates across the board of the length of 12 by 10. And so let's just say, for example, that we have a capacitor there that we want to measure and to denote that for any users who um, may load this file in the future to profile with we can just say you know uh, capacitor number 150 there and drag and get an approximation or a close estimate of where that is and so if there's you know resistor there, resistor 123, and you can name them and this will actually show up on the profile information when you download it. And so you can say 
um, you know, channel one that was right on capacitor 150, and we've got that noted here, and so that it will print out with that information displayed. And I'm just going to run through the rest of them really quick to name them, and we can get to the next part of this here. Okay, and so we're just going to place these at their respective locations of the components that we want to measure on the board. And so once we have them all named, we can click OK. And you can see that our assembly information is noted with the, um, with the image of the motherboard behind it. Now, like I said, you know, you may uh, end up measuring this type of board or you may come back and measure this assembly uh, multiple times, say, you know, a couple times a week, just as an example. And you don't want to lose this information now that you've gone to all the work of entering it. And so we can save the assembly information within MAP software. And um, I'm just going to leave it as its name, Motherboard 84. And so if we click OK here, now that has set the assembly information and you can see on our profile that uh, it notes for channels 1 through 6 on our uh, Supermold Gold 2 that we use for the profile. Um, it shows each of those components or those, um, the temperature measurements for each component there. And so if we needed to load this up at a later time, um, we can just go right up to assembly board drop down set assembly information and click load for our list of assembly files. And so that's going to conclude our tutorial for the assembly information in MAP software.